everyone, this is a video tutorial on the monohalogenation of an alkane. So if we take a look at this over here, what we're going to have is some kind of alkane. In this case, we're going to be looking at ethane, but it could be any alkane that you're dealing with. And we're going to be reacting with X2, where X2 represents either bromine or chlorine. We're not going to see a reaction happening with F2 because it's highly exothermic and thus too reactive. And dealing with I2 is very endothermic, not very reactive. So when you have these kinds of problems, you're pretty much only going to see Br2 and Cl2 as your options. You're also going to see either H nu or the delta symbol below. This here represents the catalyst that is needed to make this reaction happen. So H nu represents light and the delta symbol represents heat. Either or is fine to be put over that arrow. Ultimately, what we're going to create is an alkane that has one halogen on it, hence monohalogenated. And then we're going to have our HX byproduct. So in the process of this reaction, it's going to take place by a radical mechanism. Radical mechanisms will have generally three phases to them, the initiation, the propagation, and the termination phases. So we're going to take a look at each one of those in detail. Okay, so let's take a look at the initiation phase of this radical mechanism. Remember that in the initiation phase, your goal is to create the radical that will be used in the very first step of the propagation phase. So if we take a look at this over here, we have our Br2 molecule. I could have also used Cl2. The arrows would look identical in both cases. So over here, what we see is an arrow where you have two single-headed arrows going in either direction. This kind of breaking is called a homolytic cleavage, where you're going to break that bond evenly such that each one of the atoms that is in that bond will get one of the electrons from that bond that you're breaking. So over here in the presence of light, we're able to initiate the homolytic cleavage where bromines are going to separate from one another. So we're going to have two of them and each one will get one of the electrons from that bond. So over here, we'll have two bromines that has one unpaired electron sitting on it. And that's what a radical is. A radical is where you have an electron that does not have its partner with it. So here we create our two bromine radicals, and these bromine radicals will be used in the next phase, which is the propagation phase. Okay, so now let's take a look at the propagation phase. So the first thing is I want you guys to understand what a propagation phase is. So during the propagation phase, you will ultimately create the final product that you want, but it is also imperative that you create a radical. You do not at any point in a propagation want to react to radicals in these reactions. So over here, what we're going to see is we start with the bromine radical. So this bromine radical that we're starting out with, this is the final product of the previous initiation phase. So the radical that you create in initiation will then be used in propagation. So this bromine radical is going to react with this ethane molecule. Notice that we are still dealing with the homolytic cleavage, which remember means that this bond is going to break evenly so that each one of the atoms that are participating in that bond will get one of those two electrons. So what we're going to have happen over here is this bromine radical is going to react with this hydrogen atom. So the hydrogen will use the one electron that it's getting from this bond to form the bond with the HBr right over here. What the second thing will be is, is that the carbon will now also have an electron dumped on it. It's going to be a radical electron, meaning that there is no partner. Now this here, you know for sure, is not going to be the final step of the propagation because at this point, we have not created the final product that we want, the monohalogenated alkane. So that means you know, okay, there's another step that I need to take. So over here then, step two would be that you take that radical that you made and use it in the next step. And then this is going to react once again with a homolytic cleavage with a bromine from a Br2 molecule. So this bromine will take one electron, join up with the one electron on the ethane radical, and here we get out the monohalogenated ethane product that we wanted. We will also see that then the other bromine that was part of that bond will have an electron dumped on it. So here we've created the radical. This radical is then the same radical used in the very first step of propagation, and then this reaction can keep happening over and over and over again. So the main point is, here's the final product I want, here is a radical from the first phase, I know I have completed the propagation step. The last thing to note is at this point I don't need to use light or heat to make this reaction happen. It's going to happen on its own now because of how reactive radicals are. So the last thing you need to understand is the termination phase. 
Okay, so let's take a look at the termination phase. So the only requirement of the termination phase is that two radicals are reacting with one another. So you could take any of the radicals that you have in your reaction and you have them combine with one another. So if we think about the reaction that we've done, we've dealt with a bromine radical and an ethane radical. So we're going to think of all the ways we could possibly combine those. So over here we could either have two bromine radicals come together. Once again we're using the one-sided, one-headed arrow because we are only talking about one electron. So these could come together to form Br2. Or we could have bromine and ethane come together with each radical joining together, forming the bond between these two. Or we could have had two ethane radicals come together. So these are the three options we have for our termination phase. So you have initiation, propagation, and termination, the three phases of a radical mechanism in the monohalogenation of an alkane.